exoticism, the quality of being attractive or striking through being colorful or unusual. Exoticism is one of the main allures of Latin American cinema. For the American and European audience, there is no doubt that South America, with its bright tropical flora and warm climate, is exotic, and this is often emphasized in films from or about Latin America to entice a more global audience. This emphasis and sometimes exaggerated portrayal of the exotic can create potentially harmful stereotypes and assumptions about foreign places. Often this is because the films are created through or for an outsider's perspective. Most often, the exotic is portrayed in a dangerous, sexually alluring, or in a ridiculous comedic way. A good example of this is in Mervyn Lee Roy's 1953 romantic comedy, Latin Lovers, which follows an American girl's romantic exploits in Brazil where she falls in love with a local. The Brazilian men, the Brazilian dances, and the Brazilian atmosphere in general are portrayed as being sexually charged and alluring with a hint of danger. There is something in the air. The air of Brazil, it is like... Like wine, stronger, much stronger. Things happen to a man in the air of Brazil. Exactly what happens? He knows what he wants and he takes what he wants. Exoticism of the South American landscape and culture reached a peak in Hollywood in the 1940s. Musicals were probably as overmade as Marvel films. These films were not often faithful to the areas they were depicting or the cultures in them. A dance called the karaoke was invented by the choreographer of the musical Flying Down to Rio. Karaoke is a term for someone from Rio de Janeiro, and although the dance is a construction, it is portrayed as a legitimate culture in the film. The style of Carmen Miranda is an example of exoticism. All of the dancers are wearing bright and colorful fashions. Dancers at the time would have been more attracted to European fashions as Europe was regarded as the center of fashion. Actual Brazilians thought Miranda's fashions were a tacky Bayana look. Spectacular sets were used to set musicals. Latin actors and actresses became parts of the vivid and colorful backgrounds, having been reduced to character tropes. The most striking Latin American characters in the films of the period were often either presented as exotic or comical, charming, fun to be played with, or desired, but always irretrievably other. North American attempts to present Latin America positively frequently generated a limited and over-prosperous rendering of the region, projected in terms of the aspirations of a cosmopolitan white elite.